Want to know what actually happens inside your body every month? Let's take a look. The menstrual cycle is a month-long process where your body prepares and releases an egg during ovulation and prepares for a possible pregnancy. It's controlled by four main cycle hormones, follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, estrogen, luteinizing hormone, or LH, and progesterone. And there are two main phases of your cycle, the follicular phase and the luteal phase. These phases are separated by the release of the egg, aka ovulation, during your fertile window. The first day of your period is the start of your cycle, or cycle day one. This is where your uterus sheds its lining, which is made up of blood, endometrial cells, and mucus. This is also the beginning of your follicular phase. At the start of your cycle, FSH stimulates the ovary to produce follicles, and each follicle has an egg. Then, FSH helps the ovary choose a dominant follicle. This follicle contains the egg that will mature and be released that cycle. As the follicles are growing and one becomes dominant, it starts producing estrogen. Estrogen is one of the hormones that helps prepare the uterus for pregnancy by thickening the uterine lining. An initial rise in estrogen signals the opening of your fertile window, which is the few days in the month where conception can occur. Once estrogen reaches a high level, this signals to your brain that the egg is ready to ovulate. The brain sends a surge of LH to the ovary to rupture the follicle and release the egg. An LH surge indicates peak fertility and is a sign that ovulation should happen within the next 24 to 36 hours. Once ovulation or the release of the egg occurs, we enter the luteal phase. During this phase, the egg enters and travels through the fallopian tube, where it will hopefully be fertilized by the sperm if you had intercourse or inseminated. Then, it will make its way to the uterus in hopes of starting a pregnancy. While this is happening, the empty follicle, now called the corpus luteum, starts producing progesterone. Progesterone stabilizes that thickened uterine lining and makes it sticky enough for a fertilized egg to successfully implant to begin a pregnancy. A new embryo can only implant into the uterus during what is called the implantation window, which happens seven to 10 days past peak fertility. To give the highest possible chance at pregnancy, progesterone needs to be elevated throughout the implantation window. While it is still possible to get pregnant when progesterone levels are low during the implantation window, it can be harder to do so. If the embryo successfully implants, it will begin making HCG, which tells the corpus luteum to continue to make progesterone. This is the beginning of pregnancy. If the egg isn't fertilized or doesn't implant, progesterone levels will drop after the implantation window. This causes your uterus to shed its lining, also known as your period, and another cycle begins. And there you have it, your monthly cycle brought to you by your friends at Prove. If you want to know more about your cycle and hormone levels, check out Prove's collection of easy to use at-home hormone tests. Visit us at provetest.com to learn more.